Now, Nabila Ramdani is a French journalist and commentator specialising in relations between France and the Middle East. And Nabila, thank you very much for joining us um, from our London newsroom. You've obviously been observing what's been happening. Um, your thoughts, your reaction to the attacks in Paris? Well, I mean, clearly this is the worst terrorist incident uh, in France uh, in, in modern history by far. Uh, we've all been horrified by what happened uh, in January with the Charlie Hebdo attacks. But even that monstrosity has now been overshadowed by this. Uh, the French president, Francois Hollande, has described the attacks as an abomination, and that's exactly what it was. Uh, the carnage was uh, unspeakable, especially as it relates uh, to soft targets. It's the easiest uh, thing in the world, you know, to attack uh, unarmed civilians uh, with gunfire and indeed explosives. And in this sense, you know, it's uh, also the most cowardly uh, possible uh, action you could carry out. Um, and you only have to look at the headlines on the front pages of French newspapers today to, you know, have a sense of the mood, Indeed. the very sombre mood in the country. Nabila, as someone who observes the relations between France and the Middle East, as we, as we said when we introduced you, um, we've heard from President Putin who is saying that the international community needs to unite again in its fight against terrorism. How does this play out now? How does France react? Well, it's very important to note, you know, that there was a, a spontaneous and indeed very prompt show of solidarity expressed by heads of states uh, around the world. Uh, you know, such uh, an atrocity and the sheer scale of it uh, will be sending, you know, alarm bells uh, or will be effectively, you know, uh, heads of states around the world and especially in Western uh, countries will be uh, looking at the situation in France in, in a very, uh, you know, meticulous manner uh, to try and see how they can possibly prevent uh, such attacks and indeed help the French in perhaps getting better I intelligence. But it's also, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I do observe uh, Middle Eastern affairs and I do travel to the Middle East uh, quite a lot. Uh, you know, what happened in central Paris were suicide attacks, the kind of attacks that you usually associate not with the City of Light, but with, you know, devastated countries such as uh, Lebanon or Iraq or indeed Syria, uh, and not uh, so with, you know, capital yeah. cities in the Western world. Nabila, thank you very much for joining us. Nabila Ramdani there, a French journalist and commentator specialising in relations between France and the Middle East.